might have read recently in, the, in your newspapers an article about the uh, Rabbonim of, of Rav and Etzisol who thought that pork could somehow become kosher. How is that? That through this new technology, this clean, techno clean meat technology, they can take stem cells, again, from a pig and generate it and create pork in this industrial environment. And he thought that that, that meat is completely unconnected to the initial source um, and therefore it would be kosher. The, the OU's position is that it's not kosher, though again we understand you know, there could be different opinions about this. We think it's un not kosher because, as I said before, yotzim osa osa, that which is derived from something not kosher, also is not kosher. And therefore this, this pig um, or pork, since it was initially derived from the criti critical ingredient that started this process, was the DNA of the pig, it would also it would be non-kosher. Beyond that, as I mentioned, that according to Osher Weiss, his position is that since it's exactly identical to the um, to the DNA of of pig, and it's it's in fact in terms of its molecular structure, it's identical. It would be considered chazir. The question, though, that poses itself is, what if we would derive it from the hair of the pig? And that's an interesting question because actually we have this shyly within the OU in terms of an ingredient that's commonly used in food production. That ingredient is L-cysteine. It's an amino acid. It uses an antioxidant, often used in uh, bread productions, and it's derived from hair, most often from human hair. It could, but it's also derived from the hair of a pig. And Rabbi Belsky at, at the time and Rabbi Shechter thought that 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 amino acid is kosher because while the pig is not kosher but the hair is completely inedible and separate from the corpus of the pig and therefore that which is derived from the hair would be kosher. Now the question poses itself what if we derive the DNA from the hair which is a technology which is at hand now and they would generate this so-called clean meat from the from the hair of the pig would that be would that be kosher? Um, so that's something we're still we're thinking about, but the, the position will be, as the discussion continues, that it's not kosher, because as Rabasha Weiss accepting the, that position, that since it's identical in terms of the DNA of the pig, that it would still have the status of chazir, though there are others who thought who, who are still debating it, Rabbi Shechtu was of the opinion that this might, might in fact not be considered chazir. Uh, it's interesting that the Medrash, the Medrash says that the etymology of the word chazir, which means to come back, is because at the end of time, the chazir um, will be, somehow become kosher. Maybe this is the technology that's being referenced in the Medrash.